It's not about picking stocks. It's about picking the right portfolio. There are typically three legs to the Federal Reserve's decision-making stool on providing cowbell. Okay. There's this one, this one, this one. All right. The first one is inflation. Where's price stability? The second one is where's employment? Full employment. The third one, where's SPY? There are people, many, many people that work, that you, you pay for their employment in all these Federal Reserve you know, things that have never worked a day in their life in the real world. Never built a company, built a business. Maybe they built some families. God, God forbid they built something. But they've built a mountain of bullshit is what they've done. So to say that this doesn't matter is just unequivocal bullshit. You know, the debate for most of our lives has been around this one, right? So in 2001, Greenspan goes dovish because the jobs market starts to deteriorate alongside the rate of change of growth and profit slowing. You know, voila. Uh, same thing happens in 2008. They didn't have, well, actually in 2008, you also had $150 oil, so you had both. Um, Bernanke said there was no inflation. Uh, but what happened yesterday, Jonesy, in the U.S. is like, can we please go back to what gives us our cowbell? Now, Europe's got both problems, too. But here, they're already in a recession, whereas the U.S. doesn't know it's in a recession yet. But they quickly priced it and wanted to buy cowbell on that, which is exactly what happened, by the way, multiple times in 01, multiple times in 08. Another thing I want to say about this, to be in a recession in the first half of this year didn't happen. So why should that be priced in in the first half of this year? The government spent their brains out to make sure we weren't in a recession. So now, next year, against those comparisons, it just took the probability straight up that we're going to be in a recession. What happens with the hurricane in Florida if you need to, which you should do, uh, I think, as a government, which is provide you know, support, emergency support for your people if they're in a, in a natural disaster? Well, there's less money to go around for all this other bullshit that the, that the administration's been paying for. They don't just have unlimited money, right? Yeah, now we're really thinking about this. He is not going to cut interest rates until the stock market crashes or inflation's at 2%. Please, amongst all you intellectuals out there or all your intellectual friends, debate. Europe, don't forget the ECB in particular, which is not a very old central planning organization. In fact, it's one of the youngest, um, has a 100% batting average raising interest rates into a recession. They did it in 08, they did it in 2011, and they did it in 2023. Yep. That's three for three. You guys are awesome. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation. Or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.